In this video, we'll learn about the non-reusable and reusable actions. What is the difference and where we can use it? Okay. So for that, I've just created an action test, which has four different actions, login, logout, find flights and order the tickets here. So these are four different actions. So how do I check whether the actions are reusable and non-reusable? So for that, what you have to do is, once you open the test, you just right click on the action and you can see there's a properties option. So if you click on the properties option, you see these are the properties of that particular action. It says the action is reusable, it is yes. Okay, the action name is find flights, location and description. So if I keep on clicking other places, if I click on login, still it is reusable, yes. If I click on logout, that is also reusable and order that is also reusable. So what I'll do is for this training purpose, demo purpose, I'll make two actions as reusable, two actions as non-reusable. I want login logout to be as non-reusable. So I'll select as uh, login from here, non-reusable. Okay, when I click on that, it says beware, this test might be used in some other test. So if you make it as non-reusable, it might impact the other test. So I have to say yes, yes, I want to make it as non-reusable. Similarly for logout, if I say I want to make it as non-reusable, still I'll get this message box and I'll say yes, yes. So what I've done is basically two non-reusable and two reusable test. So I'll click on save. That is what you can make it changes where it can be used. Okay. So if you want, you can use it into call to copy and call to existing action. So you can see, I will create a new test here. I'll just close this dialog box and uh, I'll create a new test and I'll name the test as some name I'll give as action properties and I'll click on this create and I'll say yes, yes. Okay, I've just modified, I've clicked on yes. After that, you see there's an action properties test which is created. I'll go to this action one. Now I'll go to this design and I'll say yes, call to copy of action. If I click on this call to copy of action, I'll call the same test that was action test from here that is action test. Okay, and I'll click on open. When I click on call to copy of action, I can call all the four actions, whether it is reusable or non-reusable. I can select any one of them. Okay. Second is I'll click on cancel. If I go to design, if I say call to existing action, I'll call the same action. If I click on this place, action test, click on open. I'll say yes, yes. After that, if you see, if I click on this drop down, only two actions are visible. Those two actions are those which are reusable, but whereas non-reusable actions cannot be called here. So I hope you're able to understand the difference between reusable and non-reusable. What is the difference and when it can be used in call to copy of action, you can call both the actions reusable and non-reusable. Whereas in call to existing action, you can call only actions which are reusable. I hope you have understood and that's all for this video.